Si. Si, si. Si, si. 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 Because you cannot say si, si. Si, si. Ten sessions of one hour and a half or two hours each. They are just like a springboard to learning more. To learning more. It's a preparation. And everybody should know that you, can, you can't uh, remain to the content of, the uh, of what is taught in the classroom. You have to uh, be curious. You have to investigate this, investigate, investigate that, ask questions, study a little bit between. Comment est-ce que vous vous appelez? Okay, it's hard to say. Comment est-ce que vous vous? Comment est-ce que vous vous appelez? Comment est-ce que vous vous appelez? Most of us teachers here. Um, have a contact, direct contact with the student. We are open. We, if the student has question, we um, respond even by email. For instance, in my case, uh, after each class, uh, I ask my student to send me a little text, a few sentences, and the team does it. Nancy has done it. Little sentences, creative sentences, and I return them corrected before the next class. I'm really usually punctual about doing it, right? Yeah. yeah right? Yes. And, uh, and it's only a, a, an additional service. I don't have to do that. None of the teachers have to do that. But it keeps the students, you know, in contact with the teacher between those uh, classes. And I always thought it was a good idea. Not all students do it because some of them are afraid they're going to make too many mistakes. Others are too busy. Others, they don't dare. They have many reasons for not doing it. But those who do it are always those, those that are more successful. Coche. Like you see, in English we say check mark, and in French we say coche. 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 And this is called une case. We say in English a box. See? So coche la case. Be careful, this is not case. This is case. They just do it for the mere pleasure of knowing how to express themselves in a foreign language. Should they meet somebody in a cafe, in a restaurant, or if they went to on a trip where they speak Spanish, where they speak Arabic, where they speak Portuguese. So they, they feel oh, they're going to be able to exchange, to ask for a piece of information. So that's the only thing they want to, to know. They want to be able to express themselves in a different tongue. They also are those students who realize that English is not a universal language, that there are people out there that do not speak English just because they didn't have the opportunity to learn it instead of you, the students, have the opportunity to come to the St. Charles Community College and learn a little Spanish, a little Arabic, a little French, a little Italian, a little Spanish, because the opportunity is given. Some of uh, the students will realize, oh, they can make their own sentence, which is so much different from learning by memory a few sentences. That's different.